Okay, I've just finished with Young Lust, and we're ready for one of my turns. I want to say that at the end I was having trouble deciphering the phone call going on. Uh, Vlad just explained it to me. He said, he said that um, he was calling um, from the United States home to England to his wife, and that's when he discovered that there was that his wife was cheating on him because it was a man that answered the phone. So, so now I have that understanding to go on with the picture. Uh, all right, so let's just dive in and see what happens. This is one of my turns. Interesting. Right here, this interval is the same thing that we heard earlier. Remember I commented, which one was it? I guess it was mother. It was mother where he was asking a question. Should be good enough for me? And here we have the same interval showing up. And I can feel. And maybe it wasn't intentional, but it seems he likes this interval to set up a sort of um, state of, of questioning and instability. Um, anyway, I just noticed that. Let's keep going. Is very much fun anymore, and I can feel one of my toes caught me though. I feel cold as a razor blade, tight as a Dry as a funeral drum. Really great the way his voice um, changes, and in that little line, first it's cold, then it's then it's tight, and then this is dry, and his voice changes too. Let's listen to this because that was really great. I feel Here we are. Cold as a razor blade, tight as a tourniquet, dry as a funeral drum. <laughs> really amazing.
kind of went crazy there. Uh, so, <clears throat> this song uh, there are some things I didn't fully follow, but I guess it started with him in a room and some woman came in. Obviously not his wife. <clears throat> Was it somebody he met at the party? Was it somebody he knew already? I, I don't know. I don't know if it matters really. But she's asking all these questions and she's not getting a response from him until he starts singing. And um, I remember she asked if, if he was, what he was watching on TV. I guess I heard a TV in the background or something. And then he starts talking and it seems like he's in this state of shock after and despair after finding out that his wife is going with another guy. Um, and so it's melancholy and sad and empty. Kind of going back to the empty spaces. But then we come to this transition where it goes crazy. And I guess he kind of lost it there. Um, talking about his favorite axe. The suitcase. Okay, maybe this is a hotel room or something because he's got a suitcase there. Um, and then and he says, don't be frightened. It's just a passing phase. Man, this is really crazy. It's just one of his bad days. Really? Do I want to be around someone like that? <laughs> and then, would you like to watch TV or get between the sheets or... I mean, he's like saying, come on, what do you want to do? Just anything, anything, anything. And the music is, is um, setting up this sort of frantic, maybe frantic isn't the right word. Sounds a bit like a mental breakdown. Somebody's just melting down and, and losing it. And I wouldn't know that without listening to the music. Because reading the words, okay, it's weird, it's kind of strange, but I wouldn't quite get that from the words itself, words themselves. So the music is again communicating this message to us that something's gone badly wrong and he's, he's falling apart in his mind. I want to hear this again because it came fast and intense and, um, I want to make sure that I give myself a chance to really hear it. So here we go. Oh, drum. Yeah, that's someone who's just like completely gone crazy. What was that? Glass breaking or something? Um, was he actually trying to fly? Um, <laughs> okay, so and then we get to this uh, solo section here.
Yeah. Uh, by the time we get to the end of that solo section, the voice comes back in. Well, the solo section really feels like somebody's just crashing, destroying. I can almost imagine dishes breaking, windows breaking, all sorts of stuff. He's, he's, he's completely unreasonable. And um, then he comes in with this, would you like to call the cops? Do you think it's time I stopped? This is interesting in the context of the building a wall, because here it's not like he's intentionally thinking of putting another brick in the wall. But obviously, whatever he's just done has sent somebody running as far from him as they can get. And, and it takes us back to this whole dynamic of a lot of these bricks are done unintentionally, um, reflexively. Um, it's really tragic. <laughs> really sad. Um, I, I need to spend a little time with this piece of music to pay attention to some more details. So I guess I will come back to it in the in-depth analysis later. But it's, it's, it's definitely a breakdown moment for this person. So, that was my first hearing of one of my turns. I guess the other thing I want to say is, it's, this is, this is a fast forward view of this person's life. And again, I get the sense here that this was a significant moment, but it wasn't the first. Just like the school scene was a significant moment. But it was something that went on and on for a long time, and it wasn't the first... It was more just a snapshot of that experience. And this, one of my turns again, is a snapshot of an experience that... If it's just one of his turns, if it's just a bad day and it will go away, this is not his first bad day. And um, it leaves a lot unsaid, unspoken, implied, suggested. Um, Again, room to explore. So, there we go. We will see what comes next.